von Leibe kaputt. Welcome back folks, I hope you are all having an amazing day. Today I'll be giving a price prediction for Chainlink after we have seen the crash. Remember, this is not financial advice, please do your own due diligence before trading. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please smash the subscribe button and destroy the like button. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the charts. As we had predicted, when we had broken this support trend line, we had moved back to $25 and afterwards we had broken it and moved to $24, where we had found significant support. We had wicked below the support trend line and moved just above the previous low, which was at around $23. Will we manage to hold the support or are we going to break through it and reach $18 for training. Make sure to watch the entire video to not miss out on the signals that the indicators are telling me. In order to break through this support, we would first probably need to find resistance at the 13 EMA and the EMA ribbon. And then afterwards, we might get a push back down, potentially breaking it. The stochastic on hourly time frame is showing a bit bearish and more downside or consolidation because we had formed a bearish crossover. You can see how we've been pushing against this support trend line for several hours now and we haven't been getting and we haven't been getting strong bounces back up to the upside of this support trend line. On the four hourly time frame you can see that we had also obtained a bearish crossover after a brief moment of bullishness when we had breached the support trend line. On the daily time frame, we are still moving lower, but we may find support, but we can still move a bit lower on the daily stochastic. On the weekly stochastic, we had almost formed a bullish crossover for Chainlink, but we had actually not managed to form it, and we are still looking like we are preparing for some consolidation ahead of us. On the daily time frame, we have been establishing lower lows and lower highs. And it looks like we are currently about to form a bearish crossover. This will start pushing the prices for chaining downwards, potentially breaking the support trend line at around $23 to $24. Then we would start to move to around $17 to $18 for chaining. On the two hourly, the MACD has been showing signs of a convergence. So we may see a small bounce back up to the upside to the EMA ribbon and then get pushed further downwards, potentially breaking the support and reaching 17 to 18 dollars for chaining. On the four hourly stochastic, we are quite low. As you can see, we are finding support. In the previous times we had gotten this low, we had started to move upwards significantly. As you can see, for example, here or here, but we can also break it and move a bit lower for the change in momentum oscillator. On the daily time frame, we are still quite neutral on the change in momentum oscillator. It looks like we are in a downtrend as we have been establishing lower highs and lower lows. So we might move further downwards on the daily change in momentum oscillator. To sum it up, Chainlink had broken the symmetrical triangle to the downside and had found support at around $23 to $24. It is a possible scenario that we break this support and we start moving lower for chaining but it is also a possibility that we start consolidating above this blue support trend line as it is significant support in the short term we might see a small bounce back up to the four hourly ema ribbon or the 13 ema which are currently at around 25.8 dollars or it is also a possible scenario that we move back to around $25 and get rejected by that. Furthermore, I'm still expecting an explosive move before the beginning of July, as we have not seen a lot of volume coming in at the breakout of this symmetrical triangle. So I'm still expecting an explosive move for a chain link before the beginning of July. And then we could quickly start to move up to 40, 45, 50, potentially reaching the top of this rising wedge. And that then we would probably reach 
on 60 to 70 dollars for training all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did please smash the subscribe button and destroy the like button as you don't want to be missing out on these daily updates i wish you all an amazing rest of your day and i hope to see you in the next video